Hi, this is Alan from Hawkdive and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can make your iPhone, iPad, or a tablet to be an external monitor for your computer. We're going to be talking about Duet Display on Windows 11. And of course, just for you guys over here at Hawkdive, I'm going to be showing you a free way or an alternative to Duet Display. So I'm going to hop onto my computer, show you Duet Display first, and then show you an alternative for it for free. Now that we are on my desktop, as you can see, I am on the official website of Duet Display. So Duet Display, again, is not for free, but you can do a seven day free trial by going and clicking on the start one week trial, and then you can sign up for it. Just a disclaimer, you would need a credit card or a PayPal or a bank to be connected first before they give you that free seven day trial. Once you are on the free seven day trial, or at least you have it enabled, you can cancel it as quickly as you get to log into the account that has the free trial of do it display. Now, links of course would be on our article over at hogdev.com. And yeah, let's download do it and show you exactly how to use it. Now, as you can see, you need the client first for your main desktop. As for me, I'm using Windows 11 and we're gonna click on do it for Windows 10. I'm just gonna download it. We're gonna open the setup file. We're gonna press yes. And of course, we're gonna be installing it. As you can see, it's already installed for my system, so it has repair here. But if you're new to this whole installation thing, I'll just give you prompts for next, 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 next until you are done. Press finish and it should be done installing. Now I can open this right now, but first let me show you how you can get it on your mobile phone. So right here on my iPhone, I am using my iPhone 11. We can head over to App Store and actually search for Do It. After searching for Do It Display, you're going to be seeing it. And once you are here, you can just press install. Of course, it says open here because I already have it. But if you don't have it yet, then this is the way you can get it. So I'm going to press open on the Duet display on my mobile phone. And I am also going to be opening Duet display over at my PC right here by just double clicking the desktop icon. I'm going to press no to this one and this should pop up. Now you want to create your account, but you probably already did that if you did click the seven day free trial or access to free trial on the top right of the screen earlier. So now I am just going to sign in because I already created my own account. So now that we got the Duet application open, as you can see, it says devices right here. So how do we connect it? So from your phone, you also just want to press continue, continue, continue until you get to the screen of where you can actually see the actual thing, such as the connection. So right here, I'm going to click tap here. I already have an account, press sign in. I'm going to press continue. Now that I've signed in on my smartphone, as you can see right now, we can press on continue and download on desktop. We already did that. So we're going to get, just hit continue again and right here, get started. So let's get started. So we got a little bit of issue right there because I would not be able to show you this over on the mirroring of my phone using the, another application. So right here is just shows you the connect to your PC through a cable. This is currently just charging. It is not connected to my PC. Here, I'm going to be pressing air. And from here, I'm going to press on this right here. So I want it to extend. I want to use my smartphone as an external display. So I'm going to be pressing on extend. And from here, it's going to be connecting to the desktop. My screen right now just flickered. Adjusting resolution. And right here, as you can see, we got a connection. Connection type extending. So let me see where it has extended. Oh, it is now on the right side of my phone. I know you cannot see this right now, but right here is an extension of my window. Actually, I can drag this whole thing that you're seeing on the screen right now all the way on my smartphone. Literally just that easy. Of course, as you can see, there are some latencies and I can also use the touch screen to move the window around. That is just really cool. And that is just something that you can do. Imagine using this on an iPad as well. As you can see, connection type is extending. Connection mode is TCP direct, which means that I am using it through the Wi-Fi. And it should show Ethernet or something wired if I'm using it on a cable. There's latency right here. We got average frame code and coding. We got average latency and the current latency. As you can see, it is not really that high. And it's just really cool that I'm able to use my phone like that. Of course, I can change this. 
I can change the frame rate to 120 FPS. I can change the high, uh, the performance into pixel perfect, which will add a lot more latency. Now for the resolution, I can lower this down. Of course, that's going to give me lesser latency and it's just going to give me overall better performance. Again, this is on an iPhone. Think about that. You can literally use an iPhone as a quick external display to a PC. And of course, you can also use this better with tablets and iPads. But for now, that is just the quick showcase of Duet. Again, amazing application. The site would, of course, be on the description down below and on our website on this article. And you're going to see the price list right there. And you're also going to see it right now on the screen because I don't want you to, you know, put extra effort of knowing information that you should already be receiving. Now let's move on to the next thing on how you can do the, quite the same thing, but for free. All right, but now how can we do the same thing, but for free? So disclaimer again, this is not going to be as good as do it display, but this is one of the solutions or alternatives. Do it display, do the same exact thing, but for free. So we're going to be using space desk. And we're on the official website right now, spacedesk.net slash hashtag download. So there are a lot of things here. As you can see, space driver software for Windows, you're going to be needing this. And of course, the space desk viewer software for your secondary machine. So this goes on your main machine. This doesn't work on Mac, by the way. Mainly, this is for Windows and you're going to be extending your Windows machine. Okay, so right here, we're going to get the one that we need, which is Windows 10 slash 11, 64 bit. So we're going to just press on that and it should just download right now. After downloading, I can just press open again. And this is the installer for the software. So I'm just going to accept next. And while it's doing that on Windows, I'm going to show you how or what can you do with your iPhone. But for this one, what we can do is, of course, search for Space Desk over at App Store. This should pop up. Space Desk Multi Monitor app should be green. And from here, you're just going to install it as any other iOS software, press open, and you should be good for now. Make sure you allow this one, by the way. And let's just do don't show again. Cool. Now, as you can see, connect your primary machine server. It can already see my machine right now. And of course, I'm going to blur out the IP address. All you got to do is open the app over on your iPhone, which it doesn't really show much right here, but hopefully you can see it on the screen. I'm just going to press the connection. Connect the display is off, change the disconnect display, and boom. It is working. It is currently on this mode right here, uh, which is kind of landscape. So what I'm going to do here with my iPhone actually is I'm going to turn off the auto rotation lock and boom, I got my extension right here. I can literally move my whole freaking mouse. That is for free, by the way. And it does almost the exact same thing as the display. Of course, it has more latency. I can still use a touch screen. As you can see, if I want to pull up the space desk on my monitor, I'm going to put it over on my phone right now. There you go. And I can literally use my hand to move elbow click, tap. And then if I want to disconnect, all I can do is pinch. This would pop up and I'm just going to press on leaving display. We're going to do OK. Now, uh, you're probably wondering, how can we fix this, right? Like, what if, what if you don't want it like that? We can head over to your display panel, display settings. And let's say for this one, I want this to be rotated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do portrait. Boom. Easy as that. Of course, the resolution is not as good. It's not as crisp as what the other softwares allows us to do. There's more latency. There are more latency. I will tell you that right now, but it's not really that big of a deal if it is for free. So that is our free version. And that is also where I'm going to be ending this video. Hopefully you did learn a thing or two. That is just amazing thing. Amazing application that we have just showcased today of how you can literally use any most tablets and iPads and iPhones as your secondary monitor, especially if you're on a budget and you want to increase your productivity. Again, this is Alan from Hogdive. Thanks so much for watching, and I would see you guys in the next Hogdive video. Have a nice day.